Unit 134, request backup and suspect pursuit. Suspect sighted on Fresh Market, heading north. 164, roger that. Where do you live? Uh, uh, there, an apartment. Drive, your place. Uh, I don't want to hurt you. Just drive. Okay, okay, okay. Drive! Uh, what do you want? I just need a place to hide. Nina, you got to turn on the TV. There's a madman on the loose. Another madman, hey? Was that like one a week now? Cops are all outside our building. And they're swarming everywhere. Look, I, I gotta go, Corey, okay? I'll, I'll talk to you later. Nostradamus predicted the destruction of Earth in three terrifying waves. The first wave is here. My name is Cade Foster. These are my journals. They killed my wife, framed me for murder. Now I run, but I don't hide. With the prophecies of Nostradamus as my guide, I seek them, I hunt them. I will stop the first wave. Quatrain 29, Century 7. Three rivers amidst iron rot, barren ground shall be sowed once more. The hunter and the hunted are one, when shadows descend on the twice blessed man. You don't have to tie me up. I won't try to get away. Please be quiet. Really, I promise I won't leave. You're not gonna hurt you. But I need to make sure you stay quiet, okay? Followed up an email on the Paranoid Times website, which led me to the Iron City of Pittsburgh, searching for possible alien activity. I thought Nostradamus' mention of barren ground might have been the Soames Medical Facility, which had been closed for years. Didn't quite work out that way. We made a mistake this time. A big one. The Guave probably joined the hunt by now, too. I'm running out of time. Taking a hostage is a desperate move, but I can't trust anybody these days. The person you least expect could turn out to be an alien. This is gonna hurt us. something I had to do. A test. You have a bandage or something?
darkroom. You're a photographer. Police have closed off a six-block square area of downtown Pittsburgh today, creating one of the worst traffic jams in city history. They're searching for Cade Foster, who recently became number nine on the FBI's most wanted list. He was convicted in Chicago for murdering his wife, and since his escape from custody, he's been named suspect in five subsequent murders. Stay tuned for our continuing coverage. It's not true. None of it. None of it's true. Sir, can I see some identification? Hatcher. Bounty hunter, huh? What are you doing here? Just going for a walk, officer. Yeah, right. This is a restricted area. You better move along. I don't have uplink scrambler protection, so this is not a secure line. I had no choice, Eddie. I lost a cell phone when the cops chased me. I had to take a hostage. I'm in a loft. I'm in the eye of the storm, man. There's cops everywhere. This is set up. We follow the Quantrain man. Yeah. Well, we were wrong. My search engine checks out 234 web pages and newspapers every day. 2,000 buzzwords initiate a cross-reference search. We've only come out empty-handed 14 times. It's always a risk. I'm sorry, man. It's not your fault. We made three contingencies, remember? Given my general location, I'm choosing number one. Police have locked down the whole area. Cops are on every street. Roadblocks are all over the place. I can't stay here, Eddie. Gotta stay cool, Foster. I'll hack into police dispatch and monitor the perimeter for you. You can slip out after dark when they change shifts. That's five hours from now. Till night falls. It's the only way, man. Just hang in there. Okay, buddy. Okay, thanks.
need to stay here till dark. Five or six hours. Then I'll go. I promise. Okay. Okay. Downloading central dispatch coordinates. Locate police unit on perimeter detail. Why did you kill your wife? I didn't kill anyone. The news said your wife and five others. I was framed. Listen, I don't expect you to believe me. I don't care if you believe me. To be quite honest, I'm sick and tired of telling people I didn't do any of it. Okay, okay. Whatever you say. It's still unclear why Cade Foster broke into the Soames building. However, he made his escape on First Avenue and then down an alley. From there, he was reported on Fourth Avenue where a jewelry store got robbed and the proprietor received a serious head injury during the incident. How could you rob a jewelry store on Fourth Avenue? You got in my car way before Fourth. Because I'm a convenient scapegoat. If I could prove that I was innocent, would you believe me anyway? Why are people so quick to believe what they hear in the news? Authorities lie. The newspapers lie. It's all just one big fabrication. Yes, sir. Subject 117 took the bait, and the police have initiated a full-scale manhunt to catch him. Good. They'll create the perimeter and buy us the time we need. What if they find him first? They won't. Sir, with regard to this mission, why don't we use the direct approach? Which is? Nail down 117's location. Send in acolytes. We tried that before, Terrence. With little success. This time, we're going to do things my way. To catch a human, we'll use a human. Sergeant Adams, investigations. Hey, Ricky, it's Hatcher. Yeah, 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 I'm working on something. No, 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 no bail guys this time, something bigger. Well, let me just say, if I bring in this guy, I can pretty much retire. Listen, I found a cell phone, right? I checked the previous calls. Then I use my phone tap to monitor the receiving end. Now I need a location on that end. The number's 555-0179. Can you do it? Okay. You're going to pass out if you lose any more blood. What do you suggest? I could wrap and sterilize the wound. My mother was a nurse. Okay. Don't make me regret this. You. You're welcome. Okay, come here. How's it look? Mm, not too bad. But you should really get to a hospital. I can drive you if you want. Didn't think you'd go for that one. Sorry. It's okay. Wait. 
Why did you cut my hand? Is it test? Test for what? Make sure you're human. What else would I be? Not human. following mom's footsteps before I went into photography. Your photos. They're good. Thank you. Who is it? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Do you have a husband? No. A boyfriend? No. Hello. Nina Bina. It's Corey. I know you're in there. Get rid of her. What if she wants to come in? Just do it. Hey, Lena, can I come in? It's not a good time. Oh, getting busy, huh? Corey, can we talk later? Oh, the radio said that that nutcase is hidden somewhere in this neighborhood. Just wanted to warn you in case you're about to hop in the sack with the serial killer. Thanks, Corey. I appreciate the warning. Who's the dude? He's totally studly. Oh, just a friend. He's gone now. Thanks for your concern. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. What do you got? What? An unregistered line tap. Very impressive. Okay. Find the location through the city phone grid, then get a list of leak locations from the phone company. Right. The warehouse off Smithfield. Okay. Between Forbes and Fifth. Hey, Ricky. You're the man. <laughs> Sir. Yes, Terrence. I've worked under your command for nine years. I've seen you rise from high military status to top command of all three divisions. I feel I'm entitled to give you a piece of advice. I welcome your advice. People are saying your strategy regarding Subject 117 is reactionary. I respect 117. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I can't respect a human. You clearly don't understand the true definition of the word respect. It's a feeling one soldier has for another. You've never fought in a real war, have you? You should drink fluid so you don't dehydrate. You said you were framed. Framed by whom exactly? It was done for a purpose. For what purpose? Would it make any difference? Well, I'd know why you're doing this, holding me captive. I'm doing this for you. For you. For your neighbor. For the misinformed news reporter, for the cop that shot me, for everybody. Let me ask you something, Lena. What would you do if this entire building was on fire and everyone in it was still asleep? Wouldn't you run around and bang on all the doors trying to wake people up? Of course. That's what I do. Only, there's a lot of people who think that I was the one who set the fire. You have internet access? Yeah. Check out theparanoidtimes.com. Go ahead. TheParanoidTimes.com Okay, the police perimeter is Market Street First Grant And Fourth You and me A little talk 
I'm looking for Cade Foster. I think you know where he is. <laughs> what are you talking about? The paranoid times. Believe the unbelievable. Well, believe this. If you don't give me Foster's location, I'll shoot you dead. Is this some kind of joke? I wish it was. This is the fire you're warning everyone about? Aliens? The Gua? It's insane. Alien download mechanism found at military compound. You're a nutcase. Who sent you, man? Was it aliens? Are you Gua? Or just a traitor? I was hoping we could do this friendly. <laughs> If it wasn't so crazy, I could almost believe you. I'm not lying. Do you miss her? Your wife? Yeah, of course. I know that she had brown eyes. I have trouble seeing her exactly. It seems like another lifetime. It gets farther and farther away each day. I miss the trust I had with her. have much. Pasta sound okay in a salad? Perfect. Your journals mention Nostradamus. We have a book with all his lost prophecies. Do you have any idea how weird that sounds? I know it's weird. I wouldn't believe it either. We use the prophecies to guide us. Not always that clear. But they help. Most of the time. And where did you find that book? Sweetheart, I'm Detective Neely. We're running a search for this man. I'd like to search your apartment. What is it? What's going on? The young lady next door reported he might be in your apartment. No, I don't think so. The young lady said you entered with a man. Oh, my friend Mark. Uh, he, he already left a little while ago. So you're here alone? Yes. Expecting company? Oh, yeah. A friend of mine is going to drop by. He should be here soon. First Mark, then someone else. You're pretty social. What's in there?
Get up! Get out! That's an alien. How did you know? Cops don't have silencers on their guns. Where's Foster? Screw you! Drown you. Foster's the only one who can save us. I hate to say I was right. Go on. Intelligence reports a fringe group made an assassination attempt on Foster. Apparently, their assassin hasn't yet returned. Have intelligence spread word to these fringe groups. Tell them not to wait up for their killer. That's how come I had to cut you. Then go have the power to self-heal. That's how I tell who's human, who's not. How do you do it, Kate? How do you... How do you find the strength to go on? I don't know. I just know that I can't give up. Maybe it's the people that I do convince. They give me the strength. And I need that. Because I can't afford to be weak. You must be so alone. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm fighting for. Sometimes I don't even think what we're saving. If you could have one perfect day, what would it be? Just a day where I could be like everyone else. you freak. The next time, I'll hold you down for good. Then do it. I don't know where Foster is, and if I did, I would kill you. You're about to die. Look, Foster's a savior, man. If you turn him in, you're condemning us all to death. Just look at his eyes and you'll see. Hello, Eddie. Hello, are you there? Answer me. <coughs> You're in luck. Looks like I won't have to drown you after all. <coughs> Thanks for the help. Something wrong? I don't know. I called my friend. Somebody picked up. It didn't say anything.
Well, maybe he went out somewhere. Yeah, I guess. I'm sure he's fine. Don't worry. Believe me, I don't want to worry. It's just what I'm used to. You're too hard on yourself. Reports accolade agents have been sent to assassinate Foster. Alert the hunter. I have stood by your side for a long time. You're brave, but you don't have what it takes to lead this mission. You got too many doubts. Foster is an embarrassment to our race. We have to catch him and kill him. Do your job, Terrence. Yes, sir. You can never stop, can you? It'll always be like this. We're getting more believers. Like you. Soon I won't be fighting this war alone. Why don't they kill you? The Nostradamus book. My insurance policy. What do you mean? If the Gua had the book, they could change their plans. It would make the book worthless as a way of predicting their movements. That's where they ever killed me. They want that book. Where is it? I hate it. Where? Don't worry, Lena, they won't find it. Hello? Yes, he is. It's for you. There's a bounty hunter on your ass. I didn't give up your location, but he got it off the caller ID. The police perimeter has shifted. Now's your time to go. What is it? So much for the perfect day. Kate. I'm sorry, Lena. I want you to pack some bags. Go stay with a friend. I'm coming with you. It's too dangerous. I don't care. I want to be with you. There'll be time for that now, isn't it? You did something for me, something I'll never forget. You reminded me of what I'm fighting for.
In case something happens, where'd you hide the book? Where's the book? They won't kill you if you give up the book. Hold it right there! He was right. That damn crazy Eddie was right. She's human. The aliens hired her to trick me. Damn you, Foster. Bringing you in would have set me up for life. She's all yours. Look, I needed the money. It was a lot of money. Please, Kay, don't shoot me. When you're alone, ask yourself. Ask yourself if the price was worth it. Look, I'll help you. I'll do anything you need for the cause. was a mistake, Terence. She had his trust. She would have had the location of the Nostradamus book, and we could have taken Kate Foster. Now he'll be more wary than ever. I had another agent monitor your cellular phone. You never called the hunter. Instead, you gave out Foster's location. You should probably ride in the trailer. I'll drive. Maybe I was foolish for trusting Lena. When we say someone's only human, we speak of weakness and imperfection. We acknowledge that each of us is vulnerable in heart, body, and mind. But only by exposing our vulnerability can we achieve the human connection each of us craves. Though the bond Lena and I formed today was betrayed, she awakened something I feared lost. At our most vulnerable, the common thread of humanity is awakened in all of us, creating an intimacy where none before existed. It unites prince to pauper, black to white, man to woman. By revealing our weaknesses, we show our true strength. 
That's the paradox of being human.